Hi, this is Martha. Today's question is about ownership of property with another party that is not your spouse. Common fact pattern that we encounter is children, adult children, and their parents who co-own property. Maybe the parent has co-signed or purchased and is uh, you know, leased to own or some other form of co-ownership or cooperative agreement between a parent and a child. This is really important that um, you get this under your belt. If you're a parent and you co-own property with your child, do you have the proper planning in place to make sure that your child can manage that property if something happens to you? If you're disabled, can your child buy, sell, or further encumber that property the way you would want them to um, if you're unable to sign for documents permitting that? So if you're disabled, what planning do you have in place to ensure the proper management of the property you co-own? If you're an adult child and you co-own property with a parent or a sibling or someone else, what documentation or what planning do you each have in place to make sure that you can all maneuver in a death or a disability? So one of the uh, most important things to know is that every person is responsible for their own planning. One person cannot do it for everyone. One person cannot execute documents and make it all easy and seamless. You have to do it together and you have to do it individually. So um, please, please, please see an attorney when you have complex matters like that and you're co-owning property with a parent or a sibling or even a friend. Um, you all really need to get it all taken care of so that if something does come along, none of you are having to go to court to get a conservatorship or a guardianship over that other person's property. So good luck. Come see us. If you don't see us, see an attorney. Thanks.